Did you know that the image shown on the default texture pack in earlier versions used an actual Minecraft seed? A team of Minecrafters managed to find this seed and here is the seed on screen now. If you look behind any painting, the back of it uses a wooden plank texture that isn't used anywhere in the game but behind the painting. Dead bushes can be used as fuel when smelting, it has the same burn time as a stick or 0.5. You can also find dead bushes in desert villages, go to any desert village and you may have a chance of finding one. Oh, here's one now. String, sticky pistons and wet sponges all spawn naturally. String and sticky pistons generate naturally in jungle temples and wet sponges in ocean monuments. However, one block that doesn't spawn naturally are sponges, or to be more precise, dry sponges. Wet sponges spawn naturally but not its dry counterpart. Chainmail can't be crafted. Or can it? From release all the way to 1.8, if you obtain the item fire and try to craft armour with it, you would get chainmail armour. In update 1.8, fire cannot be held and the recipe was manually removed. While chainmail cannot be crafted anymore, it can still be traded with villagers, dropped from mobs wearing it, or found in a structure chest. Ever wondered what creepers see? If you go into spectator mode and take a view of a mob, you can see in their vision. A creeper has a pixelated green vision, an enderman can see inverted colours, and a spider can see, well, four times as much as we can. It is entirely possible to play Minecraft with one grass block and no more. Mobs and passive animals can spawn on it, snow can fall on it allowing you to gather it and expand with it, eventually foxes can spawn with emeralds in their mouth allowing you to trade with a wandering trader and get your first sapling. This is of course not a recommended way of playing Minecraft, but the fact that it is possible is mind blowing. Enchanted golden apples, or notch apples, used to be craftable. By surrounding it in 8 blocks of gold you could craft this amazing item. The crafting recipe was removed in update 1.0. Nine. However, they are still obtainable from dungeon chests. Wooden slabs used to be stone slabs. Let me explain. Back in beta 1.3, three slabs were added. Sandstone, cobblestone and wooden slabs. However, due to the way this was coded, wooden slabs had the same properties as the other slabs, meaning it could only be mined with a pickaxe. This was later fixed in updates, but if you had a world from beta 1.3, these are now called petrified oak slabs. You can find this in the creative menu. We all know the giant mob, the enlarged zombie, but did you know that giants are not technically classed as undead? This means they cannot be burned in sunlight and can take damage from harming potions. Another cool thing you may not have known is that giants cannot be spawned in traditional mob spawners. It is impossible. This is because they require a light level of both 11 and 8 to spawn. We all know and love redstone, how else would we be able to do the crazy builds redstoners have done? Originally though, redstone was never meant to be in the game, instead these gears would have been the equivalent of redstone. This didn't last very long and were quickly removed and we got the redstone we all know and love. I love Minshraft. Did I say Minshraft? The title screen. We all know and love it. This is where our adventures begin. The title Minecraft will always show on the title screen, but there's a 0.01% chance it actually shows Minshraft instead. This is an awesome easter egg that can randomly occur and maybe it's happened to you before without realising. You may know that calling an animal dinner bone causes them to flip upside down, but did you know calling an animal grum flips them upside down too? I wonder what else causes animals to flip upside down? What do Christmas presents and chests have in common? We love to open them! If you log into Minecraft on Christmas Day, the chest texture gets replaced with a present texture instead. But I know you all had to eat Brussels sprouts instead of playing Minecraft, so you may have never noticed this. Minecraft used to be called Cave Game before it finally got the name Minecraft we all love. This was the first ever version of Minecraft and as you can see, it's pretty primitive. We only have grass and cobblestone to play around with. While you can't really play Minecraft with this version, you can still be creative. Here's a house that I made. Tall grass is something we see every day in Minecraft, but the actual block for tall grass is only obtainable in a village chest or in the creative menu. If you break it with shears, it drops two grass, not tall grass. Even silk touch doesn't work. Before 1.15, you could place a torch underwater to create an air pocket so you could breathe infinitely underwater. No need for puffer fishes. Poor guy. The first versions of Minecraft only had five single player worlds, not infinite like we have today. Furthermore, you could switch worlds whilst in a single player world. Why don't we have this today? If you travelled far enough in older versions of Minecraft, we're talking about 12.5 million blocks, you could reach the Farlands. This is where Minecraft basically becomes unplayable and you get some crazy terrain generations. Triple chests and even quadruple chests used to be a thing in Minecraft. By placing water next to a chest and placing a chest in the water, the chest would get added, making a triple chest. The GUI also becomes messed up. 
Locked chess have had a very interesting history. A locked chess was a chess that directed players to the Minecraft store as an April Fool's gag, but that isn't interesting enough. The texture changes that this block has had is fascinating. This is the original texture before it became this purple block. Then it gained the emerald block texture, well, one side of it did. Next texture update, it got the redstone block texture on the rest of its sides before getting this texture, which, yep, it's definitely missing its texture. The block was then removed, sadly. You've heard of nether portals, but have you heard of, uh, funky portals? These multicoloured portals were added in Snapshot 20W14 Infinite and will take you to a randomly generated dimension. I wish this was still in the game. How would you like a book generated by the universe itself? Well, if you have this neat block called the Box of Infinite Books, you can. Also added in Snapshot 20W14 Infinite, this would give you a written book with some very random text indeed. You could also throw this book into a nether portal to create a funky portal. Oh, so that's how they're made. The Wither is a very difficult boss to beat, but have you ever beaten a Pink Wither? This was added as an April Fool's joke in Snapshot 15W14A. It's summoned by putting a flower pot with a rose on top of pink wool. Every shot grows flowers and long grass around the area of the projectile, whilst also dyeing the sheeps a pink-like colour. On death, it still drops a Never Star. I wish it dropped a pink one. We all know how important emeralds are for trading and showing off your wealth, but emeralds were never supposed to be in the game. Originally, Mojang wanted rubies to be the main trading currency. While it did not make it, sadly, if you go to version 12w21a, you can still find the ruby ore texture naturally, but no rubies ever made it. When it comes to enchanting items, the first item you ever enchant is the same in every world. For example, here's me creating a new world and enchanting a wooden sword as my first item. Now here's me doing it again in a different world. Same as before. That probably means we've all gotten the same first enchantment. Bunnies are adorable, right? Well, not this one. This is a killer bunny, and it definitely lives up to that name. This devious little rabbit does four hearts of damage. That's more damage than the wither on easy mode. Luckily for me, though, they can be tamed. Are you tired of the same boring beacon colour? Well, you can change it by simply putting a stained glass on top of it. The colour changes when it reaches the glass, meaning you could have multiple colours all coming from one beacon. On the same topic of colouring stuff, your dog's collar can also be coloured. When you tame a dog, it gets a red colour by default, but if red isn't your colour, then you can change it by using dyes on your dog. Skeleton horses are by far the coolest horse out there, but do they exist in vanilla Minecraft? The answer is yes. When there is a thunderstorm going on, they have a very small chance to spawn when lightning strikes. If you're lucky enough to get one of these to spawn, they are tameable and you can have your own army of skeleton horses. Thank you so much for watching, and if you didn't know at least one of these facts, hit the subscribe button as there'll be more content like this in the future. And finally, fact 31, subscribe and you'll get infinite diamonds.